Hi everyone, my name is Vicky. I'm 23 and I use she, her pronouns. For National Disability Employment Awareness Month, I'll be talking about my experiences as a disabled employee. I currently live with arthritis, lupus, asthma, and a non-specific brain issue in my left frontal temporal lobe, which is just a permanent swelling of a vein in my brain with no known cause. It causes a lot of symptoms, such as latent sound sensitivity, lack of focus and concentration ability, short-term memory impairments, sharp migraines, and speech impairments like a stutter and more. It also has a lot of triggers, such as lack of sleep, not having a daily routine, being overstimulated with too much light, strobe lights, loud noises, and using screens for a long period of time. The arthritis and lupus affect my mobility and often cause me to become easily fatigued. I've had arthritis since I was seven years old, asthma for about 10 years, my brain issue for just over a year and a half, and I'm in the process of getting lupus diagnosis. But I've likely had it since I was diagnosed with arthritis because I am ANA positive. All of my disabilities are well controlled on my medication and I don't often have any flares so long as I avoid my triggers. Because all my disabilities are invisible, I often face ableism on a daily basis. People just forget to accommodate me because I look so horrible. I get told that I'm faking having a physical disability because I'm an athlete. People tell me they just don't see me as disabled and are annoyed that I dare ask for accessibility accommodations because they don't think I need them. I've been made fun of for needing subtitles and closed captioning on everything and for using mobility devices, especially if I don't use them const constantly and consistently. People talk down to me because they think I'm slow and stupid just because I have a disability affecting my brain. I've been asked if someone like me really belongs in such a rigorous field because of the stigma surrounding disability. With my disabilities, I am able to work full-time, except I need accessibility accommodations in the workplace, just like I do in an academic setting. These accommodations complete, but are not limited to walking around a lot, alternating between sitting and standing often, being able to walk away from my computer for a while, or needing to go into a dark, quiet room if I'm experiencing symptoms of my brain issue. I have to watch how many hours and days a week I work, meaning that I can't work overtime shifts too often, nor work too many hours in the same day. I've always been nervous to report my disabilities to my employer because I fear discrimination in the workplace, and unfortunately, I've experienced it too many times. Employers are unwilling to grant me accessibility accommodations because I just don't need them. And if I do, I get yelled at for using them, and I'm told things like, you take too many breaks, or you leave your desk for too long at one time, or you're just not dedicated to your job. I've had employers cut my hours after I reported my disabilities to them, even when I tell them what exactly I need and what I can handle. I've had employers just tell me accommodations just aren't possible, even though they never actually looked into their possibility. One of my previous employers actually makes the work environment toxic for any dis disabled employees to the point where the disabled employee is just forced to quit. One thing that I'd like everyone to know about invisible disabilities is that they're valid, even if you physically can't see them every day. Sometimes my symptoms are very obvious because you can hear my stutter or I'm just using mobility devices to help me walk, while other times you can't. My symptoms change every day, even over the course of the day, and this isn't uncommon for people with disabilities. Stop telling people that their disabilities are fake just because you, their symptoms aren't constantly visible to you. My biggest piece of advice for anyone watching this is to research ableism with the goal of gaining an understanding of the issues affecting the disabled community while also learning what ableist language you should remove from your vocabulary. Learn what's appropriate to say to members of the disabled community and actively try to change the, the negative stereotypes and stigma you may harbor towards the disabled community. Thank you so much to Made of Millions and Diverse Ability for this option and for featuring my story. Go check them both out. Bye. Let's hope that.